have is the first lady, the elect lady of this house, Lady Kitty Willis. He leadeth me in the path 
the righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. But thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Yes, thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Tonight we're going to go with verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me uh -huh. yes, in the presence yes. of uh -huh. my enemies. Yes, Not yet there. Thou preparest a table before me uh -huh. in the presence of my enemies. Okay. Okay. If I could use for a topic or a theme, what is taking you so long to get to the table? <laughs> oh. 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 Right, In this passage of scripture, you will find David writing out a prayer to God. Mm -hmm. And as I'm studying, I'm learning some authors are questioning the age of David when he wrote this prayer. Uh -uh. Because he care for the sheep at a young age, mm -hmm. it does not determine when this prayer was written by David. Uh -huh. And if I was allowed to have my opinion, mm -hmm. I would say that David was much more mature at this time. Mm -hmm. Because not often do children really deal with everyday issues or have it is it enemies as much as adults do. That's right. uh -huh. Kids do have this. Kids do deal with the he say and the she say stuff a lot. But a lot of times, us as adults, we have enemies that we didn't even know that we had. Come on. Come on. Come on. Folks get mad at us because we have on a cute dress. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And. Nowadays, instead of saying you got a cute dress, uh -huh. they would rather say, oh, she thinks she cute. That's it. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. <laughs> I did when I put the dress on. <laughs> but that is no reason for you to be mad. That's right. Folks will get mad at you because you have gotten a promotion on your job. Uh -huh. And instead of them saying congratulations, uh -huh. They would rather say, well, how did you get that? That's right. Uh -huh. Or what about the folks that will get mad because you get a new car Come on. Yeah. or get a new house? <laughs> and instead of them saying, I'm so happy for you, Come on. Come on. they would rather say, how are you going to pay for it? <laughs> and the whole time you are saying to yourself, you have no clue yes. what it took for yes. me to get where I am now. Yes. I remember when I only had one dress in the closet. Yes. Didn't have no job at all. Living from place to place yes. and even catching rides. Could you at least be happy for me? Yes. Just this one time. But I have came to the realization that you need your enemies. Come on. Some of you might be saying to yourself, now first lady, you have lost it. No, I have good sense. <laughs> your enemies are your biggest motivators right. in That's your right. life. Right. Right. An enemy is a person who is actively opposed or hostile to someone or something. Uh -huh. An enemy does not agree with anything that you do. Come on. Oh. Anything that you try to accomplish, they will tear it down. That's why you have who you tell your dreams and your visions Because while you're speaking in the atmosphere, they're knocking it down before you even put it out of your mouth. But me, 